All right, so the first question is with respect to uh, the lectures we covered around January 6th or 7th. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, it is here on your notes. If you look on the upper right-hand corner, you'll see 1506.07. Uh, my little coding system, I made a mistake that day, but if you see that number, that's the, that's the notes we're referring to. It's probably the 6th or the 7th of January, okay? And, and we're talking about uh, price elasticity of demand, which uh, deals with uh, how what is the relationship between the change in the price of some good and the change of quantity demanded. Um, now, we all know the formula, the way we write it. The quantity demanded for some good x. I could put x down here if I want. Let me know that that's equal to percentage change quantity demanded of some good x all over percentage change and the price of that same good. All right, we should all have that formula memorized. Now. Uh, sorry, Ugh, I'm gonna learn this. All right, now <clears throat> the question that I have is what do we mean by this always remember the negative relation uh, inverse the negative or inverse relationship with respect to price and quantity demanded what does that mean well that's just fancy econ talk what's this word what's this word inverse mean uh, well when i try to use fancy words I, i'll always tell you kind of what the common sense meaning is so really all i'm saying in texas talk is remember the negative relationship with price and quantity demand of some good right so, uh, what is the negative relationship between price and quantity demanded? All right. Well, let's let's consider the market for super gummy worms. Now, you guys will know exactly what I mean when I write this down. If I charge a very high price for super gummy worms, will I have more people buy it or less people buy it as I increase the price, right? So let's consider a very, very high price. It doesn't matter what value this is. I'll just call it PH for a very high price, extremely high price, a million dollars for one single gummy worm, for example. What would be the quantity demanded? Well, we could argue zero, right? We don't really know, but we can make a pretty solid argument. Nobody will buy one single gummy worm for a million dollars. Now, let's look at the opposite relationship. Um, what if I charge zero dollars for one single gummy worm? Well, we can say that a whole lot of people will buy this gummy worm. Let's just say a high amount of quantity. I just call it QH. We could say an infinite amount of people would buy this gummy worm. Okay. And what if we charge somewhere in between? Well, P medium, I don't know, some medium of quantity of people. So you see what's going on here? So as I, ch as I decrease my price, then my quantity demanded tends to also decrease. That is, not to scale, that is the negative relationship. All right. Yeah, that is a negative inverse relationship with price and quantity demanded. All I'm simply talking about is this negative relationship, okay? If, if I was to algebraically calculate the value of the slope, it will obviously be a negative number. As price goes up, quantity demanded goes down. As price goes down, quantity demanded goes up. That means it's an inverse relationship. It's an opposite relationship.